Slending puppet show? Oh. I'm not convinced. I don't, I don't think they're here. I don't think they're here. Are for you that. here for the Moss Slending puppet show? Oh, got it. Okay, okay, okay. We well, can start this. Amanda, is this the show with? Oh my God, Dora, Dora the Sperm Whale. Whale! Oh my gosh, she's yes. so famous. I'm yes, so excited. Yeah. You know, ever since she became so famous, it's really hard to get a hold of her autograph. You know what? Oh. You can buy her autograph for a dollar outside after the show. Really? Yeah, I we've got autographs, task photos. For dollars somewhere. Well, we've worked really done. hard to put the show together for you. Lots of um, graduate student volunteer hours. So if you'd like to support us, there's a donation jar in the back. And with that, we hope you'll enjoy the show. everybody to the Moss Landing Marine Lab Puppet Show. Today we're going to hear a story about Dora the sperm whale explorer and her first deep dive into the ocean. Out above the Monterey Submarine Canyon, Dora the sperm whale is hanging out at the surface. Her friend Arnold, the elephant seal, suddenly surfaces next to her and takes a big breath. Oh, hey Arnold, where did you come from? From the deep sea. I spent the last half hour looking for fish to eat in the California colon. We elephant seals dive down to the deep sea regularly. Man, the things you see down there, it can pump you up. <laughs> the shrimps that glow in the dark, fish with giant teeth, and all sorts of tiny plankton dodging everywhere. Wow, I haven't tried diving deep yet, but I've seen that my mom and big sister dive deep down the Monterey Canyon with the rest of the pod to eat squid. Maybe it's time I try heading down there. Mm, yeah, I've got a hankering for some cephalopod goodness. Wait. I thought you eat squid. Oh, I do. Squids are cephalopods, just like octopus and cuttlefish. And they're my favorite food. <laughs> Gee, I usually eat fish. What's so great about cephalopods? Well, let me tell you. Cephalopods. 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 They swim with jet propulsion, they ink to show emotion, they live in the blue ocean. Cephalopoda, cephalopods, 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 cephalopods. Their head is near their feet, they use their beak to eat, sometimes a tasty treat. Cephalopoda, cephalopods, 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 cephalopods. really done it before, but I'm sure there can't be that much down there. How big can the deep sea be? If I swim around, I'll bet I'll just stumble upon one. Besides, I can just use my echolocation to help me get around in the dark. Just make sure you dive down on these two. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Hasta la vista, baby. Well, here I go, to infinity and below. You are now entering the mesopelagic zone. Dive time, five minutes. Wow, the surface is still sparkly, but it looks so far away. It's so dark down here, I can hardly tell which way is up. Huh, wait, that light's not coming from the surface. It's below me, and behind me, and all around. What's going on? Wait, wait, hello there. Blink, blink. Oh, hi. Wow, you're blinking. That's right. It's called bioluminescence. I'm Nikki the McTofen, and I'm the brightest fish anywhere. Blink, blink. Well, I don't know if I'd call any fish bright. But, uh, shh. But you certainly do have lights all over your body. What are those blinking lights on your face for? Oh, what, what is that? I'm an anglerfish. What's it look like? The name's Angie. I'm looking for food. What are you looking at? Oh, uh, pardon me. I've just never seen a... Well, um, uh, what is that in front of your face? Other than an annoying sperm whale? <laughs> this here's my genius way to catch food. 
all the little fishes, they're like my light here. They swim toward it and don't even notice me behind it. I don't even have to lift a fin. It's just open wide and sayonara, small fry. <laughs> Say, you actually look kind of familiar. Have you been in movies or something? What? Why has everyone seen that movie? I was, I was just trying to eat that clownfish and that other blue fish, and I got stuck in a scuba mask. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> if Angie had her way, Finding Nemo would have ended very differently. Angie uses her bioluminescent light to find food, but it's not all about scary eating. I use it to communicate with other Mictophid fish, like Minnie the Mictophid. Oh. Dude, Mickey, you're such a sap, bro. I release my awesome bioluminescent tentacles to confuse predators. It's like, whoa. Whoa. I've never seen bioluminescent. 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 Blink, blink. Oh, a uh, bioluminescent animals at the surface where I come from. You're from the surface? And what are you doing way down here? Blink, blink. Well, I'm a sperm whale. We dive deep down to find squids to eat. This is my first dive. Hey, have you seen any squid around here? Are they bioluminescent? Oh, uh, yeah, I saw some squids uh, swim by here earlier today. Uh, they went deeper, yeah. So uh, why don't you go take a dive in the oxygen minimum zone? <laughs> Just uh, swim down until it gets hotter to breathe, and uh, you'll know you're there. Uh, now go, you're scaring all my little fishes away. Oh, but, but, but I don't breathe underwater. I, I'm a mammal, I hold my breath. Good thing I'm such a good ventriloquist. Huh. Well, guess I'll just keep swimming down. You are now entering the abyssal plane. Dive time, 15 minutes. Whoa, my echolocation tells me I've reached the seafloor. Hey, where are those squids? Gosh, I've been swimming a long way. I wonder how deep I'm at. Greetings. You've reached the abyssal plain, about two miles beneath the surface. Translation, really, really deep. <laughs> Whoa, um, who are you? O or what are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty barnacle. I'm a fierce filter feeder. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dora, I'm a sperm whale. Hey, are there any squids around here that are good to eat? Oh, I don't eat squids. I stick to the sea floor and let food come to me. I'm a filter feeder. Stuff sinks from the surface and drifts towards me big mouth. I'm like a big colander catching tiny particles from the water. Whoa, interesting. I don't think I could live off of filtered stuff. Seems kind of small. Well, you've got some whale relatives that feed on teeny tiny critters, too. Blue whales, the biggest animals on the planet, filter the water for tiny krill. Oh, wow. We sperm whales have teeth, so we need something bigger to grab. Ooh, like squid. Mmm, have you seen any around here? Hmm, not here. But maybe you can find some squids further along the sea floor. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm not running out of breath yet. I'll swim along the bottom for a while. Now entering the hydrothermal vent zone. Dive time? 30 minutes. Wow, I am really hungry. Where is that delicious squid? You can come share our lunch. Oh, thanks, but how can you possibly eat when it smells like, ugh? Rotten eggs down here. That is what we eat. You're smelling hydrogen sulfide gas. That's what we eat to get our energy. So, so what do you say at Thanksgiving? Please pass the gas? That just seems wrong. And how could anyone eat hydrogen sulfide anyway? Isn't that a chemical? It's not even alive. That's because we use bacteria in our tube to help us digest it. Bacteria digest the food for us, so we don't even have stomachs. <laughs> or brains. What? what did you say? Uh, whatever. Anyway, our type of eating is called chemoautotrophy. Whoa.
Whoa, whoa, Kimawata what? O-M-G. We have to show you our dance. dance. <laughs> oh, I, I've never seen a two-worm dance before. I think we're going to find out what it's like, though. Got 
to swim up with all we've got. Because it really matters if we make it or not. You see, the ocean depends on us for food. So what do we do? Whoa, use that ocean donation. Whoa, vertical migration keeps us safe from predators out there. Marine Lots Open House! Woo! 